we want to solve the given equations. We could use the optional step of clearing the fractions from the equations by multiplying both sides of the equations by the least common denominator, but in this video, we will be solving the equations with the fractions in the equations. Our first equation is negative 5 twelfths x plus 1 sixth x equals 9. The first step is to simplify each side of the equation by clearing parentheses and combining like terms. Notice for this equation, we have two like terms or two x terms on the left side that we can combine, but we first must obtain a common denominator. The least common denominator is the least common multiple of six and 12, which is 12, which means to combine the like terms, we need to write 1 sixth as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 12. And because six times two is 12, we multiply the numerator and denominator of 1 sixth by two. This gives us the equivalent equation, negative 5 twelfths x plus 2 twelfths x equals nine. And now we can combine the like terms by adding the coefficients. Negative 5 twelfths x plus 2 twelfths x is negative 3 twelfths x. But notice now we can simplify this fraction because three and 12 share a common factor of three. We simplify negative 3 twelfths by dividing the numerator and denominator by three. This gives us the equivalent equation, negative one-fourth x equals nine. The last step is to multiply or divide to isolate the variable because negative one-fourth x means negative one-fourth times x. We are probably thinking we should divide both sides by a negative one-fourth, which would work, but remember, Dividing by a fraction is equivalent to multiplying by the reciprocal. So let's multiply by the reciprocal of negative one-fourth instead of divide by negative one-fourth, which means the last step is to multiply both sides by negative four over one. But because negative four over one is just negative four and we don't have a fraction on the right, let's just multiply by negative four. Negative four over one times negative one-fourth is equal to one. If we wanted to show the simplifying, there's one, four, and four here and here, which gives us negative one times negative one or positive one. Positive one times x is x. On the right, negative four times nine is equal to negative 36, which gives us the solution. x equals negative 36. Let's take a look at our second equation. The second equation is different because notice how there are x terms on both sides of the equation. The given equation is one half x equals negative seven ninths x plus three. Because we cannot simplify the left side or the right side, our first step now is to add or subtract to isolate the variable term on one side. Let's isolate the x terms on the left side by undoing the negative seven ninths x on the right. And therefore the first step is to add seven ninths x to both sides of the equation. This gives us one half x plus seven ninths x equals three. Notice how this sum here is zero. And that looks very similar to the first equation where we can combine the like terms now, but again, we first must obtain a common denominator. The least common denominator is the least common multiple of two and nine, which is 18. We need to write one half as an equivalent fraction with a denominator of 18 and seven ninths as an equivalent fraction with the denominator of 18, which means we multiply the numerator and denominator of one half by nine, because two times nine is 18, and we multiply the numerator and denominator of seven ninths by two, because nine times two is 18. This gives us the equation nine eighteenths x plus 14 eighteenths x equals three. And now we can combine the like terms on the left by adding the coefficients. 9 eighteenths x plus 14 eighteenths x is equal to 23 eighteenths x, giving us the equation 23 eighteenths x equals three. And again, 23 eighteenths x means 23 eighteenths times x, but instead of dividing both sides by 23 eighteenths, we will multiply both sides by the reciprocal which is 18 20 thirds. Simplifying, 
there's 118 and 18 here and here, and there's 123 and 23 here and here, giving us one times one times x, which is x. We have x equals 18 20 thirds times three as a fraction is three over one. Nothing simplifies, and therefore we multiply the numerators and denominators. 18 times three is 54, and 23 times one is 23. The solution is x equals 54 23rds. I hope you found this helpful.